In this video, we'll do another question looking at the locus of a complex number. If a complex number z satisfies both argz is equal to pi by 3 and argz minus 4 is equal to pi by 2, in part a we're asked to find the value of z in the form a plus ib, where a and b are real numbers. And in part b it says hence find arg of z minus 8. We'll look at this formally and uh, in a more informal manner. We'll start off with the following. So we'll have an arg and diagram. Now, arg z is equal to pi by 3 is going to give us a half line. So we've seen that in our work before, that we're going to have now a half line. So we'll start at 0, and it will do something like so. So we've got a pi by 3 angle. Let's put now the real axis. So this is going to be the real axis. This is going to be the imaginary axis. This is going to be the point 0, and we're going to have an angle now of pi by 3. If we look at this one, arg of z minus 4 is equal to pi by 2. Again, this is a half line. We locate 4 on the real axis, and then we're drawing a line straight up like so. Okay, let me just move it across and just make sure those two intersect like so. So what we're after is this complex number, the point of intersection. So let's put our values on here. This is going to be a right angle, or pi by 2. This point is going to be 4, 0. Okay, so what we're after is this point right here. Now, if you want to do this informally, quite clearly the gradient of this line is going to be root 3. If you want a more formal approach, what we can say now is the following. We can say arg of z is equal to pi by 3. Rewriting z as x plus iy, arg of x plus iy is equal to pi by 3. Removing the argument, we can now write y over x is equal to tan of pi by 3. Tan of pi by 3 is going to give us our root 3. So we end up now with y is equal to root 3x. In Cartesian form, x and y for this particular line are defined both greater than 0. So what we have then is this right here, y is equal to root 3x. Quite clearly, this line right here is x is equal to 4. So this complex number right here will be 4 plus, and all we need to do is sub in the x value, 4 plus 4 root 3i. So that's the complex number that satisfies both of these. Okay, it says hence find arg of z minus 8. This is going to be another half line. And if we take it from here, what we'll do, let's grab this point right here. An informal way of looking at this is that we're going to create now a, an isosceles triangle. So this point right here is going to be 8, 0. So 8, 0. Remember, when we're measuring these angles, they are measured anti-clockwise parallel to the real axis. So we're after this angle right here. Again, an informal approach, you can state essentially by symmetry, what we've got here is an angle of pi by 3. So quite clearly, this line, we need this to stack up to now pi. So this one is going to be 2 pi by 3. Okay, so 2 pi by 3. So we can say, and this is quite informal, arg of z minus 8 will be equal to 2 pi by 3. Again, you can go down this route of using a right angle triangle to show it. What we've got here now, if you wanted to do it with a right angle triangle, let's see if I can just quickly sketch one up. What we've got now is a y value here of 4 root 3. So let's write that here. This length is going to be 4 root 3. This now is going to be 4. We've got this angle right here. So this angle, we've got the opposite over the adjacent. So we can see now that tan... Let's write this here. Let's put this now. We'll call this one theta. We will say tan to the minus 1. And what we're going to have now is 4 root 3 over 4 is equal to theta. Those are going to cancel. The inverse tan of root 3 we know is pi by 3. And then all we need to do is find or subtract that from pi. So that's a, um, a more informal approach to state by symmetry or that we've got an isosceles triangle. And in your working, if you're going to take that approach, please do just state that's how you've done it. Alternatively, you can take this triangle right here, find the value um, of theta, and subtract that from pi. So there we go. Hence, find arg z minus 8. Arg z minus 8 is 2 pi by 3. 